Today in the book guy, we are looking at the Bullfrog Pro 2. All right, so before we get into the boot, let's talk about where the boot came from. It came from a website that's called Shoes for Cruise. Now, Shoes for Cruise is one of those websites that provides a corporate service for companies that have more than 10 employees up to thousands of employees. They offer a safety shoe program and a work shoe program. Primarily, it's on what we would consider as boot guys on the lower end of quality, but we are talking about industrial shoes. So. When we're talking industrial shoes, we have to forget about everything that we think of when we buy quality boots, handmade boots, stuff like this. And we got to think about the boots from a work perspective. Now, Shoes for Cruise has got some great shoes, great prices, and has got a wide selection of different styles. And when I say different styles, like styles for everybody within an industrial setting or any setting where you're going to need slip resistant, oil resistant, waterproof type boots and shoes. So now let's take a look at the Bullfrog 2. All right, first and foremost, we start with the sole. Like every other review, we gotta look at the sole because this is what's keeping us from falling on our butts. And with the Bullfrog 2, it is exactly what it was intended to do. Now, all these little square patterns that are in a diamond format, these little things are going to displace water. They're going to give you a lot of traction. And not only that, but it's a square on top of a square or a, or a diamond on top of a diamond, depending on which way you turn at it and which direction you're looking at it. So that gives you the slip resistance. But it's just not that. It's just, it's not, just not the displacement of water. It's the shape of the sole. See, the sole has a concave to it. That concave means that as you're stepping, you have an edge always coming in contact with the surface that you're walking across. And that's how you can get a super sticky slip resistant sole. Now, we're talking water, we're talking water mixed with oil, we're talking acids, fats, things like that. But like any viscous surface, any viscous material, there is a limit to where you can displace it and where you can keep a secure grip. So if you're standing in oil, guess what? It's gonna be really hard for you to get that secure grip as it would feel on dry material. So when you're walking around with the Bullfrog 2, you have to be conscious of your environment. Now, between this sole and a regular work boot sole. I take this hands down any day for safety and for grip. Now the Bullfrog 2, it's a molded shoe. So that means it's actually something that is chemically built. This is built from chemistry. So that means that they can shape and form it through engineering and they can extrude it into a mold. So this boot is gonna only come in solid sizes, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, when you're having slip-on boots, you gotta remember that this is not something that you wanna plan on walking five, 10, 15 miles in directly, like moving around, walking, hiking, that type of walking. Now, lateral movements, cleaning machines, working in the processing plants and stuff like that, that's where something like this excels. And it's just not because of the full sizes that you can get a better fit or a more generalized fit. It's because you can split the sizes. Now, there's no wides, there's no mediums, there's nothing like that. But what there is is a really generous toe box. And that generous toe box gives you lots of space because underneath all this, there is a comp toe. This thing meets all of the OSHA requirements for safety and you can't go wrong. And it's not only OSHA, their EH, electrical hazard rating, because, well, there's no metal in this thing whatsoever, so they just kind of fall into that classification by default. All 
All right, so in comparison, this boot is called a 10 inch shaft. Now, if you were to put this boot up against an eight inch work boot, yes, the eight inch work boot is gonna be taller, but in the world of pull-on boots, industrial pull-on boots, the 10 inch shaft is what this classifies as because it is much lower, it is much easier to put on, and there is a huge mouth in there. So that means not only can you slide in and out really easy, but you can also get your pants tucked into there so you're not getting that water that just kind of creeps up your pant leg as you're working with water, oils, fats, whatever you're doing. You don't have to worry about that wetness just crawling up your leg throughout the day. Now in comparison, most pull-on boots like this that are molded are gonna be 18 inch boots. They're gonna be much higher. Add another eight inches to this thing. It's gonna come all the way up to your knee boots. Usually they're called knee boots. This one is more like a mid calf boot. And depending on how tall you are, depending on what size you get, of course it's going to adjust. But if you can't wear those really tall boots, if you find them a pain in the butt to get on and off, well, take a look at the Bullfrog too. You might be happy with how this thing not only fits, but also performs in your job. So right now I want to take a minute out of this video just to thank the guys from First Point Mechanical for always being there, for supporting the Boot Guy Reviews, for just being friends of the channel. I want to thank Richard, Mike, Ennis, and Derek and the rest of the team there at First Point. Thanks a lot for being fans. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel. All right, so let's talk about the comfort of the Bullfrog 2. Now, primarily, when it comes to pull-on boots and it comes to industrial pull-on boots, the thing that you find is that they are so uncomfortable, especially the steel toe models, because they're just there to provide safety and keep you guys from slipping and falling on your butt. Now, Ace Boots took it one step further. They actually engineered the boot around a more of a comfort fit. So. There's an arch that is built into the boot. The heel cup actually cups the Achilles tendon. So you get a nice secure fit back between your arch and your heel, which is really important, especially in a pull-on boot when you're walking around. And it's just not walking straight. It's that lateral movement that you do when you're working in pull-on boots because it's just not standing in one spot. You are moving around. If you're cleaning equipment, you're moving around the equipment. So there's lots of this moving around. That's where having a nice arch to give it a support and the heel to keep the boot on your foot. So as you come in contact with slipperier surfaces, if your boot is connected to your foot properly, then you are connected to the ground properly, which means you get more traction. Now, comfort. What makes this thing so comfortable? Well, they took the extra step. Ace Work Boots took the extra step and put a really good, decent insole in there. It's EVA with a layer of memory foam on top. So, first time you put these things on, it's gonna feel like a lazy boy. It's gonna feel like you just stepped into a pair of house slippers. And that's what you want out of industrial boots when you're trying to make, now this is for the human resource people out there, okay? When you're trying to make your employees happy, when you're trying to make the guys that are actually making the company money who are out there busting their butts, when they put on their work boots that you're providing for them, you want them to be happy. You want them to put them on and you wanna see a smile across their face. Ace Boots knows this. Shoes for Crews knows this, and as human resource people, you have to know this too, that if you keep the worker happy, you make the company money, you keep everybody happy. And something like this that is really comfortable, not only because of the insult, but because of the molding and the construction, yeah, that's a really good thing. Let's talk about size and fit and buying these. If you're buying these online, it's gonna say in places you should buy them two sizes bigger. I have to disagree with that. I'd say go one size bigger, buy your size. Now, I'm basing this off of the fact that I've been wearing pull-on boots for a long time and I am constantly putting shoes on so I understand my foot size. So I know what size shoes I wear. Now, a lot of people out there, 
Back to human resource people. Now, a lot of people out there don't buy their correct size, mainly because one, they've never been measured, and two, they've never taken the time to really focus in on what size their foot is. So if you're somebody who's buying it for an employee, yeah, you might wanna go one or two sizes bigger and probably add a few extra insoles to your order just so you can compensate for the space inside. And if you can put two insoles inside a pair of boots for a guy who's gonna stand out there for 15 hours working a double shift, then it's probably not gonna be the worst thing to have him happy and comfortable. But if you're buying these online for yourself, if you like the way they look, if you need a second pair, if you've run out of company reimbursements, buy it one size bigger and just be ready to have a thicker stock in there, maybe put in a dress insole, or maybe right out of the box it's gonna fit your foot. Personally, I would buy these in my size, which is size 12, because I have so much experience with pull-on boots like this, it just makes sense for me to buy my size. So that's the Bullfrog 2 from Ace Work Boots, available through the Shoes for Crews catalog and website. Hey, if you're currently wearing the Bullfrog, the older model, the newer model, the non-safety toe model, please comment below. Let guys know what you think about the slip resistant sole, how much support you get, how nice and tight that heel cup is, and how long are they lasting you. If you're a human resources person or if you're a consumer and you're going to pick a pair of these up and you want to see some detailed photos, swing by to bootguy.com. I will have detailed photos of this boot, of the sole pattern, of the way it's constructed all through the multiple layers, and the inside and the insole. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, right down there. You guys know it helps out. As you can see, my subscribership has really grown over the last four months and I have to thank you guys for that. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Also, if you enjoy these videos, if you find what I do helpful, not only from a personal standpoint, but, but from an industrial standpoint, if you're somebody who is watching my videos in order to make better choices for your employees, think about throwing me a few bucks on Patreon. Think about supporting the channel. Just swing by my Patreon page, you will see a link below, and just, hey, think about it, 12 bucks, that means a dollar a month, that could really go a long way in keeping this channel alive and providing better resources for you guys out there. Hey, if you're a human resources person or if you're a consumer and you're about to pick a pair of these up or you're about to buy a dozen, you got some questions about size, fit, who it's gonna work well for, is this the right sole for the environment you work in? feel free to contact me on Instagram. All day long I use Instagram to communicate with friends, family, and you guys who are my most important people on Instagram, my supporters and my subscribers. Go back and forth talking with you guys about what is good and what is not good when it comes to the work world and it comes to footwear. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for 